everyone, Joe here from ActionX. Welcome to What's in the Tuber. Welcome back. If this is your seventh Walker Independence episode review, I will be very frankly to admit that it sucks that for me personally, I'm finally admitting Independence is back on a good streak, like a very good streak. And then they're going on hiatus for an indefinite amount of time. Now, of course, when no one, someone says indefinite TV show business, not to worry, Walker Independence will return in 2023, but we don't know when, similar to Walker. Uh, could be February, could be March, could be April. We don't really know. You know, right now it's it's a bit of a tricky time. Right now, they're they're just loosely labeling it 2023 because uh, not even that none of their mid season premieres have even been finalized yet, which is kind of weird because usually by this point we would know. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's still all a bit of uncertainty t times right now. So we will find it more hopefully in December or in the beginning of next year when wa the Walkers will return. So for now, this is our final Walker Independence episode review for a while. It's kind of weird, because, like, normally we would never go through... I don't think I've ever done a drought like this since... ever. I could be wrong, though, but... Yeah, normally I would always know, like, when does the show come back? And and this is... We don't know. It just says 2023. Heck, for all we know, it can come back in September of 2023. I don't think so. I really don't think so. But um, that's just kind of how, you know, we just we just don't know. We don't, we don't really know. 100%. But, anywho. Um, kicking things off here right now. I thought this, this mid-season finale was great. It definitely was kind of like a mini culmination point of everything in the last seven episodes of the show. Um, not doing too many payoff, but definitely it, it morally just honors and acknowledges how far we've come so far. I don't know what the timeline point is. I want to say it's been like almost a month since um, the show began, I want to say. And, you know, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. And, you know, it definitely comes to show the, of where people's relationships are standing because i've said this before many many times in different other reviews is that the story can be crap you can probably have a very bad story but the characters are still likable enough and they're still gaining some sort of development and keeping the dynamic in the show's cast um as strong as it as it, could, it can be it can overpower the story with here with independence um so far the story seems to be like they're trying to give more of a hey we're kind of dragging this along a little bit but it's also giving the fact of well the characters are still the ones that are like the the most powerful elements here that you know that we're you know it's um it's that found family type of mentality where especially in a new sense because this is a new um era for me to explore like you know this isn't like you know social media or like you know something of that sort it's something that destiny calls for it and you know it's, it's weird weird to say but like you know even westerns i'm like yeah you can still consider it to be destiny of sorts um but that being said let's go for the butcher recap and talk about this week's episode of walker independence <laughs> uh so we pick up where the, the last episode left off caliban is off in jail he's getting um flashbacks to uh, a time before but he wakes up uh, where, yes, you know, he has been in prison uh, under the suspect of murder for the... I forgot the last... It's Luis's dad. Uh, I, for, I, think, I think it's Reyes, I believe it is. I could be wrong, though. Um, so he's there under suspect of murder for him, and, you know, they're immediately just assuming, like, yeah, you're gonna get hanged. You know, you just basically killed one of the founders, and, you know, he's not really being quite open, honest of, like, what exactly happened which is kind of like the weird thing about it, but, you know, regardless of anything, you know, Caliban's is not really in a great position right now. Uh, we kind of cro cross around a lot in town. It's still daytime from the last episode. Um, Luisa and her mom came back from their, from Luisa's um, stay away. Um, so they haven't even noticed the news yet, which honestly I found like, has time passed a little bit? Because like, it seems like they're kind of acting like it's nonchalant a little bit. Um, even Abby and, um, Kate are often walking about, you know, that Abby is going to have to eventually give her statement and testimony to, um, Kate's, um, informant or not informant, her, um, partner such um, boss about what she knows about the Davidson and the murder and give all that sort of sort to get, get the ball rolling on that. However, all is interrupted when, um, eventually they pass through town and they find yet, yeah, they, they find the body in the wagon being ready to be buried. Uh, of course, Louisa and her mom. Obviously devastated, you know, grief struck. Um, even with Hoyt being there, present near the near the side, he's there to like comfort Louisa a bit. I also forgot to mention, like um, when we were on the scene of Louisa and her mom coming back into town, um, you know, they're still they're talking about like the usual, like you know, when is Louisa gonna get married? Like you know, settle down. And Louisa's like, oh, you got someone picked out for me. And they were briefly talking about Hoyt, not in the romantic sense, just of how for their family, Hoyt is still important to them. They, he's still considered a member. 
even though that, yeah, he's not 100% what they would prefer, uh, but they got their eyes on Calib uh, Caliban. They think that he, he would be a really good partner for Louisa, and, you know, they notice that Louisa is uh, more, more got her eyes on him, which, again, it is true, um, but, again, until something is stated, I don't believe anything um, visually, in my opinion, um, which also, again, it's kind of, like, odd, like, not really odd, because, like, usually, like, so, a thing that everyone should know about me is that when I was um, growing up, I think when I was watching old movies, because, like, my parents are old-timers, um, they were in their, um, they were not, they were, like, young parents, but they were, like, born old parents, but, you know, when I was born in the 90s, uh, I got to see some old movies, and it was traditional, you know, fair of, like, you know, uh, when it comes to romance, it's, like, you know, a good-looking guy and a good-looking girl of the same, you know, racial background, same ethnicity would fall in love, and they go, that's your story, and now we're in this, where, you know, it's more accepting of, like, it could be just any amount of combination, you know, love is love, um, so honestly, back then, like I'm, not, I'm honestly surprised that they were open to uh, Luisa, who I, I'm assuming she's and she's Latina. She's you know a lot a Latin this uh, um, Latinx now. We're we gonna call it um, that. And they 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 they're okay. Well, at least the mom's okay with like yeah. You if you want to be with Caliban, that's okay. Like normally it would be like oh we would prefer for you to be with another Latino, but I think they're just being realistic of, like, in this small town of independence, it's not, there's not that much. It's really not that much. Um, which, for me, I thought, okay, that's obviously a, uh, one of those, yeah, it's definitely our modern, our, our current modern storytelling devices um, being implemented in a, in a, in a time period back then, trying to make it more, um, more modern, and, you know, they're still, like, in the same, like, trying to, like, keep it all equalized, just so that the time periods are correct, which I honestly find, um, pretty cool whatsoever, but, um, so yeah, everyone's immediately asking, Hoy, what's going on? Um, and then, you know, Abby puts it together, that, like, they find Caliban's arrow next to the body, and she's like, no, nah, th this can't be true, this this cannot be true, and, you know, um, Hoy can't really say 100% one thing, sure, all he says is that we just found him over the body, that's all we have. So, um, Immediately, um, Abby goes to the sheriff's office, which we're just assuming that, like, oh, what about Dayerson? Like, he got stabbed in the last episode. Uh, but, no, uh, well, not sl stabbed, slashed by some, some unknown assailant in the last episode, so we assume that he would be on death's doorstep. Uh, he seems to be all right. I, I, I'm i guessing the the stab, the, the slash wasn't that deep. It, he did bleed a lot of blood, but he was able to, like, get up kind of, like, nothing really happened. It was kind of, like, kind of weird, in my opinion. He is cleaning up the wound, but there are no stitch marks. There is anything. He doesn't really have time to go and get the sort of help right now, especially with like everything going on with um, with Reyes. So he doesn't really have a choice but just to suck it up and just deal with the proceedings. Uh, he immediately just assumes that yeah, he's just going to get hanged. You know, the, the citizens want immediate justice. We need to get this over with right away. Especially him just wanting to like let me go to the hospital. Let me go and get some medical help, please. Uh, but Abby's like, no, we should give Caliban his due justice. You know, yes, it is a founder, but Caliban has done much for the town. He should at least deserve a trial. But of course, they mentioned before, like, Independence doesn't have a jury system. It doesn't have a courthouse. Uh, but Abby pleads enough to, um, significant, okay, I will call a local judge to come over and perform a hearing and a trial for this matter. You may be his counsel, but the thing is that if you lose... And you're already somehow gaining the trust of the town, folks. You will lose that trust automatically because that means you you were going against the founder. So be wary that this may not go your way. But Abby, knowing being a friend to Caliban, knows I'll accept the risk and I'll um, represent him. Anyway, so everyone's kind of like doing their own things, kind of leading up to the trial. Um, Abby is beginning her defense for Caliban, trying to get all the information that she was missing in the last episode because she wasn't there. Um, Caliban does thank her for. Participating, but he she, he is giving her an out, like, you know, you can let me hang, you know, you are in no, you know, you don't have to do this. But she's like, no, you're my friend now, we've been working together for a while, you saved my life, so I owe you this much. So I'm doing this out of, the, out of you know, just doing the right thing, which is pretty, like I said, like, it's showing that, like, yes, it is a definitely a natural earned thing of, like, you, you we've done all this together, and now we're going to keep this going. But it's, it seems like the town folks are not happy with the idea of giving Caliban a fair, fair trial. They'd just rather him be dead already. Um, meanwhile, Hoyt heads back over to the, to the, to the, to Luis's ranch, starting to do the, do some, do some of the handy work that, uh, his, her dad used to do and trying to like, you know, finish it up. And, um, uh, yeah, it's still pretty clear that like, this is really being hard on the, on the family right now, especially, especially, uh, weirdly enough, the brother who seems to be overreacting a lot, but we'll come back to more about that point later on. Um, the deputy heads off with, um, 
He ends up with someone. I'm not sure exactly who exactly. I, I could be wrong. It could be Abby. I'm, I think it is Abby. They're they're off to like you know procure a um, a representative or just at least someone to be on Caliban's side, which is the um, the chief of the native tribe that, that's nearby. They form him in the situation. Uh, meanwhile, as everyone's just watching the, um, well, I, I don't think I've seen this before, but this could be a new, I don't think this is a new edition, but, um, they're building the, um, the stage for the hanging, you know, the, the drop down hanging. Um, so they're building that out. And then that's when, um, the chief shows up with, with Abby and the deputy waiting for the trial. And, um, everyone's like, you know, better turn away. Just, you know, let this hanging happen, get it over with. And they're, and they're like, nope, you know, Caliban has done a lot. He deserves a fair, fair trial. So this is happening, you know, no arguments there. So they are allowed to proceed forward. Um, the chief and um, Caliban are talking, uh, indicating that, yes, Caliban is still having his um, his walks, his spirit walks, where he keeps seeing the, the um, a little girl in his spirit, in his spirit um, walks, I, I guess that's what the terminology is. I really don't know, but he's not really ready to talk about that yet. But, you know, it's still like, apparently this is something that is it's not a more recent development. This has happened um, plenty of times in the past. Meanwhile, Kate goes to talk over with her um, fellow, fellow detective about, you know, to, you know, just sadly telling her that yeah, Abby's been indisposed right now. She will be back later. But, you know, maybe since you still got to wait for her, you can at least take a look at the Caliban case and see if you can help out whatsoever. He's like, nah, th this isn't like, you know. This is as far as I'm willing to go that's beyond our mission, so I don't want to get involved in, like, what the town's going on right now, because I... He doesn't want to get involved. That's basically the point he's trying to say. Um, and then, like, you know, they're st still trying to say, like, you know, we, we... But either way, okay, if you don't want to do that, you still should look in more in Davis and make sure that everything's square with him and figure out if there's anything uh, fishy going on. Around the same time, Sheriff Davison does show up and, you know, for the presumably meets the, with the detective under false pretenses for the first time. However, it, Kate's reminded that uh, back in the earlier of the series, um, they did already briefly have a handshake array, so this is not their first introduction. So there is definitely more something and miss going on right now. So we'll get to more about that later. Um, I want to say we go to a nighttime thing. I, I said we cut to the next day where you have the juries in session. Uh, everyone's there. Hoyt, Louisa, their family, a lot of the town folks. Uh, Caliban, Abby, everyone's there. Everyone's there except for Kate and the, the detective, which the detective is opting to take an earlier train now since the fact, you know what, I had enough waiting. I'm just going to go home uh, and be done with it. Uh, she he even asked um, Kate to give him uh, um, a shave before she he goes, which she deprived for a little bit. But when her holding a blade in her hand, she immediately asked him the question, what's going on? You know, you already had a handshake with Davison before. So indicate you already knew him before. So what's going on? And he admits that, okay, well, the jurisdiction of this entire investigation uh, is now under new ownership. And so their priority technically is now is to ensure that everything is working correctly to make sure that this train stop is proceeding as scheduled. Meaning that, okay, the train is going to happen. This stop is going to get approved. And so that that will bring in new tourists, bring in more travel into this area. And that's what they want to do. So independence is getting any sort of trouble or any, any sort of like legal issues. Uh, like if Davidson was to get exposed, it would undermine their e effort. And again, it's all about money. You know, it's sad to say like at the end of the day, they only care about the money. Like, you know, you know, keep their, they got to keep their noses down to make this train stop work. So it's a lot of variables right now, which is sadly um, the case with like, you know, shitty po um, with politics and everything. Oh, which does definitely dif disappoint Kate, considering the fact that she everything she's done before all this Davis and stuff showed up was basically for nothing, since they basically dropped the entire investigation she was she was originally meant to be here for. Um, back at the trial, they're doing the traditional trial hearings, you know, of like presenting each side, bringing in witnesses, trying to build um, Caliban's um, character. Um, it does not go 100% in Caliban's favor. It's more mixed to them when the brother, go the, um, Luis's brother goes up, he immediately puts the blame onto Caliban already, like, picturing the moment when he supposedly found her and everything, so it is not something that is 100%, you know, in Caliban's favor, even by the time they're reaching the end of the, the trial. It's clear that his guy Caliban is not so far going to be winning this case whatsoever. Um, Abby, in a last-minute ditch, decides to put Caliban on the stand for him to tell um, a different story to see if there is any, you know, trying to play the, what is it, the, um, give me pity, not give me pity, but like give me an understanding angle where she asked him about 15 years ago when there was an attack on his village that, um, an unknown, an unknown, unknown raiders, um, raided the village and one of them took his sister and he was unable to bring her back, um, 
trying to pr- trying to prove that like you know maybe Caliban just was in the wrong place in the wrong time and he has some PTSD he still has to go through. Uh, Caliban's not really hundred percent trying to is not comfortable with at first with this am- admission, uh, it, but however even the judge eventually stops it over and is like say yeah this is not really anything to be um, <clears throat> legally sound. So uh, he's about to sentence Caliban um, to death and everything is about to, to wrap up with the trial. However, before Caliban can sit back down, he, he finally snaps and admits that like, you know, um, that I have done so much for this town in the many years I've been um, around these parts. You know, I came to this town. The, fir- the This was the first thing I went to when I needed help finding my sister. And even though I didn't find any, anyone else, it was like, but when someone goes missing around here, I'm immediately on staff to help find them. I'm always there to help you out because you know I will find um, this person no matter what. So the fact that right now none of you came to my defense, none of you like were speaking up against for my innocence is definitely just like a, is a cry of like, you know, you guys are sh- selfish. That you guys are, you know, have no real returnal aspect of yourself. But however, thankfully the town folks um, did manage to wise up, stand up for his support, which is enough for the judge to um, give him like a bit of like a, a not a hundred percent of a guilty verdict, but sadly because they were unable to like really prove why Caliban was standing over his body when his arrow was near the near the crime scene. Um, it, it it still does not vote in his favor, but he still votes him guilty. Um, so yeah, Caliban is going to get hanged, and this is going to be the end of him. Um. Meanwhile, outside, the um, Luis's family and Hoyt are about to leave to go back home. And, of course, the brother's, like, you know, already trying to be, like, why did they try to do that? Like, why did he try to, like, bring this sort of, like, you know, lighthearted side to himself? Like, he should have just accepted his death. And, you know, Hoyt decides to finally speak up and say, like, you've been acting very jittery since this entire thing occurred. And even when you were on the stand, it was clear that you're not, you weren't being 100% honest there. Um, re- and then also by the time the, um, also the deputy's doing an autopsy on the body, he finds a bullet inside, of uh, the, of uh, Luis's dad's body, not just an arrow. So meaning that there was another bullet, there was another weapon at play here. Um, uh, this is around the time when Hoy p- pieces it all together because there were some issues between, um, the dad and, and son in this matter. And, you know, there was a gunshot heard earlier before the arrow supposedly like was claimed to be the fatality weapon. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, pictures that like, yeah, they had a fight and the dad was about to kick the son out and the son didn't want to leave his house and everything. So he was trying to shoot him with a gun and, you know, it successfully worked. However, knowing that he, it was going to be found of his gun and everything. He knocked out Caliban, who was in the middle of his, one of his trance walks, um, knocks him out, takes his arrows, somehow brings him back. I, I, might, I might be missing a step or two here, but yeah, but basically positions him to the point where like he was still in his trance. That by the time he was knocked back out, it was already too late. He was already being, like, already over the body, and, like, his arrow was, like, there and everything. So, it definitely did not picture a a good thing for him right now. So, combined with that, um, the deputy's discovery and what the um, the sheriff decided to do at the last minute, he de- they decided to, like, forfeit the hanging. There's enough ed- evidence to prove that it was not him. You know, so he will not die today. So, they that finally saving Caliban's life. Um... So yeah, we're kind of in the, in the wrap-up procedure, even when the deputy confirms about the bullet and everything. So, like, you know, it, thankfully, it all ended well. Everything's fine as well. Obviously, Luisa's mom and, you know, and Luisa and her mom have to grieve now for the loss of their father and the, now the imprisonment for their brother. So it's still not a good time for the family. Definitely, Hoyt's going to have to step up around around the parts and, like, help him out since with everything that was spoken about Hoyt in the last episode from the dad originally. Um, there definitely is a good camaraderie that, like, yeah, he does consider Hoyt to be worthy of the family crest. So hopefully someday Hoyt will be with Luisa, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that all goes. Uh, even, like, when Hoyt finishes the fences, he engraves, uh, encarves his name and everything on there as an indication of, like, we will we will remember his spirits. Um, detective's already gone, and, you know, Kate's telling her the bad news, like, yeah, so this is, this is happening. But we will still find a way to take down... Um, Davidson somehow and he she also says like you know Abby Walker Esquire does have a good ring to it so maybe this wasn't just a one trick pony but we will see we will see how that all goes there's still a lot of stuff they need to set up for that um Caliban's also on his way out with the chief and he's indicating that he's going to spend some time away from independence just trying to be back around his people again which I think is regardless of the whole Davidson issue right now it is smart to like you know Regardless of how it all ended, you know, there's still, like, a bit of, like, mistrust for Caliban right now. So, I think the best thing for him to do right now is just to be home and everything. Uh, he still sees the vision of his sister. 
Uh, but we'll, we'll settle that issue another day. Uh, and lastly, I think the last... Oh, yeah, Kai wasn't in this episode, weirdly enough. Of all things, like, Kai couldn't even make a background appearance. So I'm like, he was just off-handling the restaurant. Off-handling the restaurant. Um, Abby decides to go have one more talk with Davison. Uh, however, when she returns to his uh, office, she finds him passed out on the, on the floor, bleeding, continuously bleeding, indicating that, like, yeah, he's he's had some sort of, like, reaction to the blood, or he lost too much blood, or something's going on with him, and he's not well, and he's begging Abby to help him. But, of course, Abby, remembering the fact this is still the man that most likely killed her husband, she's not 100% in the right mindset to go help him, and he's deb she's debating, should this be the moment that he finally dies? So, that's where we ended, that's where we last we leave this episode of Walk Independence for the year until we return back in 2023. For me, again, I thought this episode was great. I think this definitely is the best episode of the series. Um, just acknowledging how much we've been through so far, so far, putting the, the the fate in one of our characters as a risk, and thankfully it all may have worked out. But definitely there is like new uh, elements and new like you know things to look forward to about in the future. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm assuming we're gonna get a little bit of a time skip when we come back here. Like the promo for the return, whenever that is, def does definitely indicate like some time has passed a little bit. Um, some elements are going to be at play, um, which is going to be a little curious to see how that might all turn out, but we'll see how it all goes. Uh, Hoyt finally getting what he wants with Louisa and his family, just not in the way he was hoping for it to be, is definitely a good step that, like, maybe he's going to start to, like, really go on the straight and narrow for Louisa. Caliban going more back to his tribe, maybe resuming his search for his sister, will be an interesting avenue to take. Abby is in a precarious situation right now with Davison, so will she... Um, save him or now is a big question mark. Then again, I know that like, we need to have a future generation of Davison for Walker Prime right now. So he will probably be alive, but we'll see how that all goes. We will see how that all goes. But for now, right now, I'm going to give this mid-season finale two thumbs up. Really enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments below. What did you think of this week's episode of Walker Independence? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let's have a conversation down below. And I believe that's going to do it for me today, everyone. So if you're unaware of this, has been What's in the Two from Action X reviewing every episode in the hopeful first season of Walker Independence. If you want to know what we're doing normally, What's in the Two, besides our Walker Independence reviews, um, we're currently doing the, the Rookie Feds episode reviews and DC Stargirl episode reviews each and every week after their brand new episodes on. ABC and the CW. But if you don't care about Walker Independence, um, sad to say, we won't. We will return in 2023. Um, we don't know when entirely because right now they don't give return dates. So it just says generic 2023. We will return with new episodes. The second half of the episodes of the episodes of the episodes will be out at some point in the future. Um, Hopefully sooner than later. But of course, we will return. So don't worry. We will come back um, to this set with this hat talking about the rest of independence um, but until then um, that will be it for now for the for the holidays so again i hope you guys have enjoyed the last seven weeks so far um this was a very quick seven weeks and hopefully when we come back in 2023 it'll be another six weeks of interesting um uh, fun to see what this story takes place next uh but again this has been what's the two from action x please subscribe to us on youtube.com slash action x videos ring that bell for notification when our next episode reviews live please also ring the bell please also like favorite share and please also uh, follow us on social media to stay up to date with any sort of updates we may have for either of our channels. But until we see each other again, for all you members of Independence out there, I'll see you all in 2023. But until then, enjoy your Thanksgiving, enjoy your holidays, enjoy the season, enjoy Christmas, ha uh, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, anything you celebrate, enjoy the new year, and I will see you all next year with brand new episode reviews. But until then, stay safe out there. Um, be good to each other, and as always, peace out.